in the Himalaya. They use more like yak pashmina, yak, uh, you know, hair for making tents and, you know, like uh, ropes. And then they use a lot of wool, you know, like from different animals. But they don't go and shave. They wait for the, you know, wool falling season. So in every year, you know, animal, they give wool on the ground and bushes. And then nomads, they go and pick up the wool and they know exactly what wool is from where, which animal. And they will make, you know, like certain textiles, you know, which is even like golden color, you know, you know, for the monks, rope. So that tradition is there. And then the secondary is like when you come from the snow land, now you come to the hilly areas like Dolfo, you know, uh, Dolfo, Tsumba, and, you know, uh, Ikerong, and then you have um, this uh, Nobri, you know, all this, you know, place, secondary Himalayan range, which is a little lower than those, you know, like snow land. And there you have, mostly is from the wool of sheep and yak. And uh, that place, they weave blankets, a lot of blankets, you know, like the Dolfo blankets. You have seen these Dolfo blankets. So that's the tradition of Dolfo, you know, weaving blankets. So they have small to big blankets they weave. And those small blanket is for, you know, like daily use, to cover their knees or to cover their back or, you know, to wrap the baby inside, you see. So this is, uh, you know, like uh, uh, the range from the Ladakh area till Assam and Bombila. Till that area, we have this shawl and blanket system, more. Then you come to the mountains. You know, where there is a lot of uh, tamang, uh, you know, like uh, tamang, and uh, then there is uh, rai, limbu, and even chhatri bounds also, you know, a little bit of, you know, those people. This hilly range is the jungle sort of little bit hill, and this range, you know, they have uh, mostly, you know, they have goat, you know, like uh, go goat blankets, which is called, uh, they call it uh, uh, radi, radi, radi. Yeah, these Nepalese people, they hang and they carry, you know, they sell, it's like a felt. So felted are much more in this area, the hilly areas, you see. Then you come down from the hill area to the Tarais, you know, down. Then you get all this, uh, uh, like in Kathmandu, basically it's a mixture of, uh, you know, grass, yeah, you know, chakati, and a little bit of wool also, you know, like uh, wool, wool items and grass items in Kathmandu, because it's a valley. So you can find cotton, silk, to all these things in Kathmandu. But since the humid, humidity is very high in the valley, it doesn't last long. So the woolen, you know, materials need dry area. So Tibet is dry, so the woolen material is perfect. Then you come down a little bit, then you need all this, as I told you. And then you have this cotton stuff in the Tarai area, you know, like down in the jungles. You know, Tarai belt, you'll find a lot of cotton. cotton. So the tradition of uh, the textiles are according to the geographical way of the land. Another thing is, you know, the art again, on it. So they have histories, the stories, you know. You get into the nomad area, you can see a lot of symbols of stars, moon, and, you know, like different symbols, you know, like of Mount Kailash and, you know, thunder, yeah, and a lot of things, you know, like thunderball, you know, many things, symbols on the weaving. And then if you go to the Dolpha area, you see more like a rainbow, rainbow, you know, like a rainbow style, mostly ja, you call it, pangja. So the, you know, rainbow is in different color combinations to uh, identify the places. Then you talk about this radi, has like Damaru, Tirshul, like Shangar, you know, yeah, which is in the jungle area of Tirshuli, you know, and then, you know, till the Assam you have, you can find this radi means like felt, and they have different designs. Then you come down, then you reach to the, uh, uh, the what do you call, like the hem, and cotton and where there is hemp you know there is like the designs are mostly like snake design you know you can find many animal designs on it uh, animal scale designs you know and then the cotton part you know when you come then you can find uh, elephant designs mostly like elephant you know
elephant task or elephant people riding on elephant or so the culture is like based the history you know is been told by the textiles you know where it is and what it is and how it's been used and what kind of culture was it buddhism hindu nagaland you know naga naga people yeah or you know like uh, asanis you know and uh, you have this nubre dolpo yeah all everything is described by the textile weaving otherwise you won't know except if they speak